Hell, we'll throw them back to the Farming Simulator 19. The game was released today, which is December 8th. 2020, Tuesday, December 8, 2020. Giants have released a free DLC. Pretty big one, I think. I'm not from our else. I'm not uh, from the description of it. Um, as you can see here, it says you just installed the Precision Farming mod. This mod adds more realism and aspects of real farming to Farming Simulator. You've added some new pages to help menu to explain everything. Do you want to open them now? We'll click yes, but first, let's go ahead and well, read the description of the Precision Farming DLC. Um, so it goes as follows. Make your virtual farm more eco-friendly and sustainable. The Precision Farming DLC, a project funded by EIT Food and led by John Deere, introduces a new gameplay mechanic based on real smart farming technology. Take some of the samples of the John Deere Gator and the SRI, SRI Scout to identify four different soil types. Learn about pH values and nitrogen content in your soil before you improve the yield by dynamic application rates. So say seeds, lime, fertilizer, fuel, and in the end, money. A new precision to farming tab in the menu gives you all the information you need to optimize the yield and hold control over your finances. A soil map with special filters shows you the current state of your soil in every action you take is reflected on the economic analysis overview. New UI elements and a live mini map give you an additional information and control when working the fields. With an RTX station on your farm, your helper will perform actions more efficient too. Don't waste time and money. Make your farming operations smarter. So, uh, that's this is pretty cool. It's available for PS4. For Xbox One and PC, so it's not just uh, PC. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and explain, shall we? So, precision farming. So, what are the categories that we have? General soil types, soil sampling, pH value, nitrogen value, yield, economic analysis, RTK station. Okay, so um, general. Oh, I can see. I can see. Uh, between the uh, map and the finance tab, I can see the 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 new tab. Okay, so general, this precision farming mod adds more realism. Yada yada. It focuses on different soil types, which influence the growth of crops. The mod adds an overview map, which is dedicated to new, more detailed information about the soil at specific spots in the map. This map can be accessed via the tab next to World. After the menu. Now uh, this EIT food activity has received funding from the European Institute of Innovation and Technology. Or EIT. The body of the European Union under Horizon 2020. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh soil types. And um, this mod divides the ground into four types of soil. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's where it's important. I just don't want to read through it right now as it's not as I'll read through it later. Uh, but right now, you know, let's do this DLC trying to see um let's play this DLC. Uh soil types or mod. They almost like a DLC really. Um but yeah, so this mod uh, divides the ground into four types of soil. Each individual soil type has its own characteristic, which influences the crop growth and ultimately the yield the amount. Like, you're gonna have to update your game. Be able to see this, I believe. Um, so, yeah. uh, I think. I, I know I updated mine, so I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, therefore, every soil type needs a, spe needs a special treatment to get the maximum yield from the field. Soil types we have uh, loamy sand, standing loam, loam, and silty clay. Uh, so, loamy sand, sandy loam. Uh, soils, I, I, I hope. There's, I know what sand is, I know what clay is, I don't know what silty is, or what is loam, that's right, I have no idea what that is. Um, so, yeah, um, alright. Determine which soil type is located where in the field, you have to analyze the soil first. Let's come down with the soil sampling device, I can see a sorry scout which is available in the shop. Drive to multiple spots on the map, or sorry, on the field. With the soil sampling device, take numerous soil samples into the field that's fully covered dark red on the soil map. 
This color indicates where samples have already been taken. Okay, it's a dark one. You can see um, the right picture bottom corner. Oh, look, this actually not what I thought about doing it on, but I decided not to do this on South Snap, by the way. Uh, but it's for it. Uh, I'll be doing that later. After that, you can send soil samples to the laboratory for analysis. A few minutes later, you'll see the results on the soil map. Additionally, you can now also see the pH of the nitrogen map. Okay. Uh, pH value. Next to the soil map, you can find the pH value map. Uh, this indicates the acidity or acidity of the soil. The pH value should always be in the optimal target range depending on the soil type. Target pH value for soil type: loamy sand should be at six, sandy loam should be at six point five, loam should be at seven five, and silty clay at highest seven. The pH value can be increased by lime in the field. It's recommended every third harvest. By default, the lime spreader automatically adjusts the application rate to the rate required to reach the optimal pH target level. But there's also an option to control it manually. That's cool. Now, if the pH value is not in the optimal level, you'll decrease it. Depending on the soil type, pH level decreases after every harvest. Okay, okay. Interesting. That's, that's cool. Okay, nitrogen value. Next to pH map, you can find the nitrogen map. This indicates the current level of nitrogen in the ground. The optimal level of nitrogen depends on the planting crop and the soil type. By walking on the field and having a look at the field info display, you can see the current and target nitrogen levels for a specific spot on the field. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at that um, later. Uh, obviously, if you don't do that. So, uh, the nitrogen level can be increased by Applying either fertilizer or manure. Okay, slurry or manure will increase the nitrogen level by a fixed value depending on the soil type. It is recommended to do this before preparing the field for tonight's sowing. So, okay. Uh, mineral and liquid fertilizer adjust the nitrogen level automatically to the crop requirements. If the crop is already planted, this should be done within the first growth stage after sowing the crop. It's always possible to control the application manually. And we have a yield map. Uh, in the yield map, you can see the yield at specific spots in the map or in the field. Uh, this can be used to analyze the field afterwards. Okay. Economic analysis. Uh, to get an economic analysis of each field, you can click on each field on the precision farming page. This will open a window that lists the costs, earnings, and total balance of the field. Wow, that is that that is cool. You can either view the total value of the field or have a Statistics since the last time the reset button was pressed. In this gives the possibility to check data over multiple harvests. And then we have the RTK station. Uh, there are two new buildings available in the shop which have an RTK antenna on top. This then provides a better GPS signal for the helpers. Uh, as long as one of the new buildings is placed on the map, the accuracy of the helpers is increased and they work up to 11% faster than before. That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead. We have this at 120. Let's go ahead and just blessed day here. Uh, yes, I do have some of uh, my properties um, on right now, so that's on that's up there. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see what this looks like now. So we have, okay, so it's just, that, I like that. So you can see a regular one, and then, you know, okay, let's go ahead and let's just look The John Deere, I don't think we're getting the John Deere Gator with it. Uh, oh, yeah, I like that. We actually do get a, a John Deere little Gator. That's cool. Okay, so we come here. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, sweet. So that has a little three point hitch. I like that. I like that. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna buy it. Uh, so this is why I I wasn't going to do. Um, you know, I wasn't going to buy. I wasn't going to get the place with the properties. Um, which are basically these and these and these. Um, I wasn't I wasn't gonna get them, but I figured well. I I started so late the current is still see. Um, so now we're gonna do that. We're gonna take this down in real time. I have this model test pretty cool. Um, like that. Uh, so do that. Okay. Um. So one. Let's see. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Five, two, and three, and four. Okay. 
Wait, let's actually, I did turn the audio down. Let's go ahead and just turn this back up. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and let's see. Guess who miscellaneous? Where is it going to be? Ah, the scout. Okay, or is there anything else or is it just that? Just the scout, okay. Um, so we have the scout. No, change color. Boom, some gram. Let's just turn that. Now, let's just take a look at it. Um, so, I guess I have to work with it actually. Uh, da -da -da -da. Does not. Uh, more to kill the face of the Oh, this is very light. I actually do wonder. Could I, or would it still be too heavy? No, I wonder if I can pick something up. Uh, actually, it's pointless to have that if we don't have. Let's find a place where we can plop this in down. That's where it should be. Miscellaneous, I think. Okay, so maybe somewhere through all these mods that I have. Oh, here we go. Uh, Shadow the RTK base station. Um, you know, I, I want the shed, to be honest, but I think we'll get that later. I don't think I'm going to the shed right now. Um, so. I mean. Where do I want to put this? I want it out of the way, but I want it somewhere where it makes sense. Like, we put it, but realistically. Uh, you know, I think we can. Where's the front to it? As you can see, I have uh, Tagos in there and all that, which we'll remove at some point. Uh, paint over that. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll put that there. Um, it actually is a very similar I actually do to feel that. So let's go ahead and get that. So, 30 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and let's. Oh, cool. So I always wanted a little John Deere Gator mod. Um, and now I get one for free. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just love John Deere. I don't. I don't know why. It's just, I, I, I just love John Deere. Um, I think I actually have a gender cut on it, like, doesn't, but that's okay. Um, so. That's actually why I'm like, I should have screen. So I'm going to get to John Deere Green. Now, we're already coming up on at 13 minutes. So we're creeping up on 14. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep this as short a video as possible. Uh, so I'll fall lower to take eight. Let me back it up here. Uh, this is the main entrance, so put, put it here. Um, there you go. And that's, it. That's, so, that's so cool. It doesn't open outwards, inwards. You know, it goes up and down. So, um... That... Oh, you know, no, because we do have, I don't know why, but it, it had the same problem on, uh, episode, like, next episode, I uh, so I gotta do it manually, I can't just do it, okay, so go unfold. Oh, that's cool, okay, so let's do it. Lower. Okay, so it actually has a pretty wide radius, I believe. What's hold on? Okay, so it has a pretty decent radius, so you can take a social focus. So let's say it'll take a really long time to a super large field. Looks like I think that's our radius. Mm. 
Okay, so it actually could have gone a little more to the right. Um, so let's actually... Let's take some time. Let's get this field done. So we're going to have to take quite a lot um, to some corners. But that's cool. I like it has a pretty decent sized radius. I mean, that's for almost a quarter of the field out there. Right, now let's, before we go and do the last little bit, let's go ahead and just get this a little corner. Boom. All right, so now let's go ahead and see. I like that. It's got a pretty decent size, and it works pretty fast too. I like that. And I really see it probably takes, you know, a little bit longer, I'd imagine. Uh, but I like how they do try and, you know, they tend to try and speed things up. More. And just because obviously we don't have patience. <laughs> I don't actually know have patience. It might be, oh, I mean, it might have just a sliver we gotta go in front of us, yeah. Maybe not, but. Alright, let's just see. Okay, so we have that field legal, so it's all taken, nice. So it's something they're now sent to the lab for analysis, you'll see the results in the map soon. Okay, so the laboratory is analyzing six soils. Okay, cool. So they take them and analyze the walls. Doing that, <coughs> might as well go ahead and do at least one of the other fields. Um, so uh, six soils. Okay. Oh, so it's a hundred dollars per sample to uh, soil sample to analyze. Okay, that's cool. Um, so soil types, pH, nitrogen. Okay, so you know, soil types. Uh, okay, so that's a silty clay. No idea what that means. Um, okay, nitrogen. Uh, looks like you have to take it every once in a while. So that's pretty cool. Yield. Um, all right, all right, um, let's actually go, soil types help, help, soil type, yeah, that doesn't really explain, like, the thing there, um, so, cool, so, so what I'm wondering, uh, is, does now, um, I, now we do have the money, so I actually go ahead and get a uh, fertilizer sp sp sprayer, spreader, whatever. And I think you know what, just what's what's how I want to get John Deere. I think, um, well, you know, yeah, no, we'll get John Deere. I, I do like this thing, uh, this thing's amazing. Actually, I can't delete this agriculture drone, I just don't like it. it it's good, good idea, just. It's a lot of work. Uh, beacon lay fenders. I need. Yeah, I think that's what I need. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I do have to spare money, obviously. Oh, crap! Station like this.
we'll time out well, later. We'll time out exactly how much um, it has been, so how long uh, it takes. So the sample to be analyzed. Uh, so we get that later. So very okay. Yeah. The actual automatic application rate. Okay, so this is. Right now, uh, let's see here. Where is there? We go herbicide fertilizer. I forgot what the name of the settings actually. Uh, let's see here. here. Uh, time for economic difficulty, traffic, dirt, automatic engine, da 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 da, not seeing anything, a uh, helper refill seed, or the fertilizer off real quick. Well, I'm just gonna try to have that turn on for buying, okay, so here we go, so, action with good fertilization, fertilizer application, uh, no values detected yet, application rate, I don't know what any of that means, to be honest. Um, so, I'll look it down there in a second and we'll see exactly what that means. Um, so, there we go. So, I'm looking at it. it looks like it's up there no matter what, you know, what, uh, you know, little vehicle tab you have on. I don't know if I call it the vehicle tab. Um, let's go look at the car. That's all. Honestly, if I wish if I find my I find something that has one of these, and I would just for fun love to just have them sit somewhere and get to like a twenty year old. But um, anyway, um, I don't get to one day I'm gonna be that kind of funny as hell. So you know, you know we're actually going to short cut it so and not gonna take the fall in the area. But honestly, we probably didn't actually really need to order it because I don't think. Actually, see, what is the height of that? I probably could just done right through, to be honest. What is the height? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I almost feel like I could have. Yep, I, I, I pretty much could have. I don't know if I said that does stop. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not going to play around with that. I don't know to do that. Uh, Alright, cool. So now we do that plank of off because I did, like I said, I already some place with the properties. Um, so. Let's go ahead and just unfold this into this ready. Because we have application rate. Okay, down to. Up. I know, right is going up. I know, right, um, right is going down, left is going up. Left is going to automatic. Okay. Now, see how quick this thing is? Okay, cool, cool. So it'll detect it, and so that's actually really, really cool. Okay, now, I don't know, so it tells you what you need. Okay. So then if I were to do deactivate, uh, okay, then you could actually then go boom, 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 and that, if you, if you watch it, it actually tells you, you know, the good, uh, and I guess you can have too much. So, it'll tell you when you need the optimal there, um, or how much the optimal. So actually, I'm going to uh, go automatic, um, just because, well, <laughs> like I said, automatic for that. Um, and then as we're going to wait for it to grow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a pack out now. Um, did I think you this building or is it literally just this? So very interesting. Uh, and now by the way, before you go thinking that, oh my gosh, makes go, what, 20 some 30 some miles an hour. 
Uh, the reason I love this mod uh, right here, other than the fact that it is a John Deere sprayer, um, is the fact. Oh my gosh, you guys notice the little field info type. Uh, the field info, whatever. Uh, pH values, uh, 500 to 7000, soil, silty clay, um, and then it has nitrogen. So added the soil, pH value, and nitrogen. That is cool. Okay, uh, but anyway, this goes on centered pretty quickly. It goes like the full 32 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour. So it, it, it's a lot faster than the average of 6 or 12 miles an hour. So that's why I love it. So anyway, uh, yeah, we will get into that in, in a minute. We're going to let it grow to the first stage and then we're going to check where that's at and see if we can take another soil sample uh, or two. I'm going to go ahead and take more soil samples uh, over here. And yeah, so we'll see you in a second. Alright, um, so actually, it's a little fast than I expected, even though it is on fast, but uh, it takes a longer. Um, so when you have actually gone 120 times, I, I did finish taking the soil samples of this one right here. Um, so, as you can see, I took, took those. Oh, I'm not sure why this one was going. Faster. I don't understand that, um, but um, whatever. So what is it? Just, no, I, I am curious though. So, because the mini map is not showing me, I guess. Might be on that page then? That's weird. Um, unless. On, I'm not okay. So it's when you have when you're in this, and you have uh, when you have this open. That's one okay. Um, so at least we figured that little bit out. That's cool. Um, so let's go ahead and let's look at get this fertilizing. We'll follow behind it. Um, and you see, it will not take long. I think it will go very quick, but it will say, as I said, this is about 11% faster, which it can't go faster because this goes 32 miles an hour. Um, Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure why I have issues there. Um, but. Okay, yeah, that's. It, it does have some issues. Uh, there's some issues there, so. Uh, okay, I guess this quick little visual, visualization glitch. That's, that's odd. Not a big deal. Um. Okay, that's a very odd glitch there. Um, so we have page value is bad. Okay, so let's do it within the first, I guess. Let's go to line at some point. Um, let's actually see. Okay, this is actually doing this is interesting. So okay, okay, so it looks like it's actually taking a few fertilizations. Um uh, and it says that it says doing it. I'm actually not gonna lie, kinda of confused on what what it just did. I that 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 should bad, not should bad on how professional should all that. So, I don't know, this is the OC so far, uh, it seems to be cool, uh, we have to play around with it, and as you'll see in the, uh, very next little bit, so it's very, very soon for you all, um, uh, for a little bit, and I'm gonna try and check figure out what's what, uh, how to check what, so yeah, hopefully this video will be uploaded, um, on the day it comes out. That's my goal, uh, if not, we'll you'll know, because, you know, we're watching it, uh, hopefully an upload date, but, yeah, so we'll, I'm gonna explore this a little bit more and try and, you know, figure out what's what. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you all in just a second. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Again, um, so I know there hasn't been much done. 
I hate to say this. I know they put a lot of work into it, but they need to put more work into it. It's already broken. I haven't even I haven't had it downloaded for two hours. Okay, I mean not not even really an hour. I mean like literally like what thirty? You seen almost thirty minutes? I spent maybe twenty, if that. This recording up this almost thirty minutes, so not even an hour have I been in game with this thing. I've had it downloaded for about an hour, maybe less. Uh, you know, the times have been used, and it's already broken. As I left game to go to another game, and I was trying to figure out why the fertilizer wasn't actually working. Uh, I was wondering if it was like a glitch on the map, um, but no one makes any sense because it should work on every map, right? But then I came back to this game, same thing, and wait a second, maybe it's because I sewed it before, you know, the DLC. So maybe it's having an issue with that, which is understandable. Um, I still don't know if that's... But either way, it's not fertilizing, which is an issue. Um, and now if you look on the mini-map, you can see we don't have that circle around us anymore. I've tried to figure out how to get that to work. I've reset this thing. I don't know anything but buy a new one of these, um, and that would not be practical. I even sold and bought another one of those houses there, um, so it's not practical to keep buying a new one every game, game save or whatever. Um, so, I guess I could lease it or whatever, but let's, I don't know, I guess I'll try to lease it at this point if it works. Uh, but, so that's broken, and then uh, right here, I don't know how to get out, I want to see if the field so, I mean, I don't know how to get this off the screen. I don't want it on the screen. Um, but, you know, so, so that's, can't eat that. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure. It, it's, it's, it's broken already. And it, it is just irritating. Now, these two go. And now, this is like, I, I just wish. Like, I think it's a really cool, great idea. But, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Like, Come on, Giants, really? I, I know y'all do your best, and I know this is a pandemic year, but you're telling me that you're gonna release a free DLC for everybody, and it's gonna be this glitchy? It's gonna be this buggy? Uh, I'm actually gonna sell this one, and if you do it, you, you see it on video. Um, the attempt is 12,000. It's a good thing I a decent amount of money left. I was like, bought a new field, which say maybe it's because, you know, I did whatever. Um, I don't want to, you know, reseat the field, um, because that didn't seem practical, it seemed more practical to buy a new field, and then seat that one as whatever I want. Um, so, you know, this, you know, that also makes things more practical, uh, especially in the field that had nothing on it. Let's go ahead and buy another one, and we'll just, Now we'll go and we'll see if we can get it to pop up. We're gonna bring it down here, we're gonna unfold it, and it should have the little stuff. But that's what I have to do is buy or lease a new one every time. You know, I, I need game to come back. That wall, that may be similar. It's so practical, really. It's just really not. Um, and even for someone who can spend hours of the game to ensure they have to make that money uh, but you know, it's not practical even, that, even for those people who can spend all day on, on game save before saving up the unit you know, make more than enough money to buy where it's not really an issue um, but it's definitely not practical for those that don't have a whole lot of time where they have to then spend 17 or even more because if you have to buy a new property as well each time. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, I did uh, I did buy this is money is down considerably because I did buy a I did buy like a standard let's see I bought the Stara. Uh, I did buy the Stara uh, fertilizer Sprayer. Uh, this because that's one in the game. I think maybe it was because of a modern one. I still had the same issue where it didn't 
want to do fertilize it. And I hate saying that, that that game, if the DLC is this bugged. Because, I mean, it's like, if it's not going to be fertilized, it should be fertilizing the matter today. Whatever, I haven't tried solid fertilizer, but, I mean, this again, it's a great DLC. It's, it's got so much potential, it just... I, I just hate to see the fact that it, you know, you'll see it should pop up both of us, even a new one, even a new one. I mean, I don't, I don't press anything, I looked over the settings, there's nothing I pressed that would have taken the circle off, because I looked through all these, I mean, there is nothing, um, so I mean, I, I don't understand what the issue is. I don't understand why it's bugged like this. But it's not showing the radius. Um, but I know. Well, I don't know if you get through the radius for this or not. But. When we take a solar sample, it doesn't pop the radius up. So, I mean. You know, it, it, it doesn't pop the radius up. Which is like. It was really helpful. You know, especially when you're just figuring out, I feel like if they had made it like an option, they would make more sense. But there's, there's nothing, of course, these are never really this helpful. Uh, but, I mean, it's like, I, 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 I hate the fact that it is bugged already. Uh, and it's, I see some pretty big bugs. I mean, the fertilizer sprayers, like, that won't actually fertilize. The fields most of the time. I mean, it's like I get if it's gonna be a square here and there, but like it does, you know, like a little bit of one row and then it, it, it doesn't. So it's not as even. You know, when I have, I don't have the automatic, but you know, and then it says it doesn't require anymore. And it's like, now it did go a little more the other one, so it's actually deactivate. Um, Copter is not required to different fertilizer, but I didn't lose any fertilizer. I don't know if that's the way it is. It didn't spray any fertilizer, which is really weird. So it's... So, uh, it's down in the red. And it's current is 20. But it's like, I'm not... Okay, so everything is good, so it's like it, but it didn't actually spray any, so it's like, wall well, saved me a lot of fertilizer, and a lot of money in the long run. It's like, and I know I had it, you know, for, don't buy, it didn't spread any, which isn't really realistic, I don't know if that's just glitched, um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's really confusing, uh, but I do know for a fact that it is at least partly glitched already, which, which, which sucks, um, so, I will continue to try to use it and hopefully they'll bring an update for it um, at some point in the near future. Oh, that's bad. I don't understand why it's that bad. If it's not understanding like this is bad, it's like, well, part of it is bad, part of it is good. So, I mean, I, I don't know. We're trying to slime and stuff later on, but no, it's not a real stuff video. So, there you have it so far. It within an hour having it, and it's already glitched. It's already, already bugged. Um, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, maybe later I'll try and start a new map. I mean, this is this is adding onto a map, by the way, or onto a save game. Um, so you know that could be an, the issue. I don't know. I don't think it would be the issue, but yeah. So if you haven't, stay tuned. Stay awesome. Hit that subscribe button below. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Uh, follow me on Twitter at ZachRider747 and on the Tail Podcast on Twitter at on the Table Pod C1. Uh, find on the podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Breaker, and so many more. So there you have it. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Thank you all so much for watching.